Hey everyone, this is Kathy just doing a quick video. Um, it's been a little while, but uh, just a little macro I've been working on for the counter spell. So, as you might know with the actual ability, it in base foundry it doesn't really do anything, it just kind of posts the details in chat. I've made it so that there is a chat message that kind of relates to what's been cast at um, and does a role for you, does a little bit more automation. Now, just to point out, you can't obviously counter spell properly. The foundry doesn't allow that sort of thing. But what it does allow, it allows you to do a chat message afterwards. Afterwards, I'll show you. So you, you might notice as well the UI I'm using has changed. This is called Twilight UI. Let's get a quick test out. So here we go. Let me open up counter spell. You see, this is the text, and nothing here except from the effect, which is a macro called Counterspell, which I will stick in the description below. So, obviously, this uses the um, MIDI QO on use macro. So, what we'll do is we'll slip your hand, spells, it's not a bad, we'll go through there. Okay, so counter spell. So let's cast it base level first of all. So what you can see here, digital message, does the chat card, and then it has this little message here. So the macro just basically pulls out the access name, um, pulls out the level they tried to cast it at, and then gives a little pointer to say that. Anything cast at this level is automatically counterspelled. Anything of a level higher isn't, and you roll this, and this picks up the um, spellcaster modifier. So the macro specifically is made to be generic, so I could put the spell onto anyone, and it should pick up their ability. So actually, let me just show that for you. If I pull through, uh, let's go with Adlith. Okay, so. so let's get add left can spell now. Johan as a blood hunt as a wizard, it uses um intelligence as mo modifier, which is I'll show you here. A plus two. Now Adleth is a druid um ranger. Her modifier will always be a um Wisdom. So, let's do that. T plus 5, Wisdom plus 5. Yeah, so the way it works is it pulls through that, and I'll show you it being cast at a high level. I'll show you that it intuitively acknowledges that. So, let's say your hand casts at a fifth level. There, it says your fifth level, fifth level or, high, or lower, and then Anything of six level higher is uh, stopped. This is just to allow that little bit of ease rather than anything else. It going, oh, what level is that cast at? It tells you in chat. I found it quite interesting and useful. So, quick little video to show that. I did have something else set up, but it appears to Foundry has decided to say no. Um, so, I do currently have a macro that should work. For the Blood Hunter um, look as a binding, that will be something to test out. Um, when I can get that fixed, and I'll do another video for that. Um, in the meantime, as a quick video, uh, I will stick the macro uh, from my GitHub, which I've set up to record these things on. Um, I'll stick that into the description below so you can see that if you want to use it. Again, it's Kind of a bit of cosmetic, really. I want to do this, I found it interesting and easy to do. Um, and it's generic enough that I can just drop it onto anyone. So I can just drop a kind of spell and it will pick up that for me. I don't have to worry about, oh, I we'll need to switch it now on your sheet to your spellcasting modifier and what level you cast it out. So this just tells you here. So enough of my rambling. Um, thanks for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video. Cheers. Bye.